Hello everybody and welcome back to the Lobotomy Corporation. Alrighty, welcome to the final week of this glorious corporation. Well, I say final week, but uh, <coughs> we all know that's not true. So, even though I really don't want to restart for a third time, I feel like we might have to, because even though, theoretically, we could just grind out every single abnormality right here in the record team, I kind of just don't want to. I think that would be a really boring and not very it wouldn't be very genuine of me to just sit here and spam every single abnormality so even though i don't want to restart because i feel like we could probably beat the game here and now well <laughs> okay i don't know about that but we're very 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 powerful right now to, at least to the point where I think we could make it through the white suppression day fairly easily. But I think we're going to go through one more restart. And hopefully we can avoid a lot more of um, the repeat abnormalities. Now, I will be taking the ones that are just inherently good. Like, debatably... He is just amazing because of uh, this, because of his gift. And then, obviously, this gift is just practically unbeatable. You, It is so hard to beat uh, the regen. And then her gift is just really, really solid because it's hard to beat just health and uh, sanity. Like... The more health and sanity you have, the less likely you're going to just croak. So, oh, and then this one as well, because that's another all stats up. Like, there's so many good gifts that we have in this, in like, right now. But, <sighs> I feel like we have to restart one more time. We'll see. We're going to get as far as we absolutely can. We are going to go... And go until we cannot go anymore. And then we'll restart. We'll get all the new abnormalities. And whenever we see any of the really good ones, we'll take them as well. So I'm thinking we'll have one more rewind. And then by the time we get back here again, we should, theoretically, be able to get the true ending. Now my goal for this timeline is to defeat Hakma. If we can do that, I will consider this a full-on victory because we would have done Cheesed, Bina, well, the rabbits did Bina, let's be honest, and Hakma. So that's kind of my goal. I'm just thinking out loud. Plus, we need a we need some better abnormality suits. We need a lot more Alephs because a lot of people just have Vav gear on, which, while not terrible, is also not fantastic because even though <coughs> even though even though this suit that Amaterasu has on is super solid it take it takes 0 0.8 damage from everything but it's evolved we we just want pure a left you feel me which i don't think is unachievable considering we really don't have that many people um basically two in every department which isn't a lot, but you know what? That's fine. So yeah, that's just kind of what I'm thinking. But, while I was busy thinking, it appears as though we've gotten a brand new employee. So everyone give a warm welcome to Kelana, who, supposedly, comes from a different department or a different branch. Who knows, you know? It's all censored anyway, so I'm, you, you know, I'm just giving you the generic rundown. But we will put her right there. Sosa, be nice to your new buddy. 
So, I believe we are going to get this day started and slowly make our way towards Hakma. We don't have to get too terribly far. We have to, um, today, tomorrow, and then after that day, we should be able to fight him. And then we begin the white suppression. So, <laughs> I'm, if nothing else, we're going to be using this run to see if we're powerful enough. Because look at our stats. Like, going down the average, we're really, really strong. Or at the very least, I feel like we're really, really strong. Obviously, I don't know that, but... I mean, like... I, that's kind of the issue I'm having, where I'm like, are we strong enough? Obviously, I would love for Justice to be higher, but... 110 is the highest I've ever seen it on a character. And even then, 106 is like, seems to be where everybody stops. So I'm not sure what the deal is with uh, Justice, if it just goes up really, really slow, or if the cap is just much lower, because I know from Hakma, we had to get the cap raised for the other thing, so who knows? But what we do know is we are going to try our best. We are going to make a lot of friends along the way. And we will not back down from the challenge. We will absolutely make it through this. Even if it takes <coughs> even if it takes a couple million attempts. That's just the kind of people that we are. We do not quit. We do not stop, which is the exact same thing until we've made it to the very end. Assuming nobody dies, I went ahead and sent everyone to where they want to go. And so, after doing that, <laughs> ooh boy, I feel like this is going to like halfway go through our entire energy bar. Okay. So, everyone's going to head to where they need to go, and we're just, we're going to see how much energy we get, and how many people possibly fail. Okay, so everybody finished, and from that single wave of everyone going, we got 265, and almost went, well, yeah. And we went through an entire, um, page of, uh, of the meltdown. So you know what? If we can keep that up, we'll be out of here in no time. Okay, I don't even know how this thing got out. Or wait a minute. Did we just get a... Ah, we just got unlucky. Mmm, good. My favorite way for things to get out. A manager, the king of greed, has gotten loose. Oh boy, where is she? There she is. Okay, so... Good, yes. I very much wanted to suppress her. Take her down, boy! But don't get too close. Alright, you guys got her. Oh, wait a minute. Heh <laughs> You thought I would forget. Okay. And then, be gone. Ugh! I don't think we got it just yet. Way Queen of Hatred is out. Woo! Alright, your boy is just not doing well this time. Oh, there she is. Alright, I see her, I see her. Alright, boys, it looks like we got ourselves a queen to suppress. I want absolutely everyone on this job. Hey, and she's even facing the wrong way. All right. <laughs> Weakness. I don't care how beautiful you are when you fall. Go take a nap. See? She went to take a nap. Okay, so we have a noon event coming, which is just... Oh, it's just fantastic. Another successful day with absolutely no death other than the clerks, but that's okay. Nice. Ugh. Ugh. 
Ease yourself. Do you not have need of a blessing? Okay, so we need this day and then three more? So on day 45, we can deal with Hakma. I, I already need of a blessing. I am, yes. Oh, there's like a little face here. All right, let's see. Um, Vav? Pretty sure it's Vav. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, uh, Insight, Winsight? You got it, Dietrich. You got it. Dietrich Floyd feels a gentle breeze, which couldn't possibly originate inside a containment unit. Oh, no, I'm sure not. The sound of rustling leaves is incredibly tranquil. The majority of the employees here are discontent. Even the oh, even the smallest blessing gives them great happiness. A blessing more radiant than anything approaches employee Dietrich Floyd. When the flower of blessing finally blooms, then. Ah! <laughs> What was that? Oh no. Uh, by any chance, is that blessing going to spread to other people? Do we have a second melting love in our department? A bud sprouted on the upper part of but 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 when Archer finished work with it. Archer was then blessed and enjoyed and enjoyed increased work speed and SP. When repression was performed, the counter lowered. When another abnormality escaped, the counter lowered. When five works with other abnormalities were completed while was not being worked with, the counter lowered. When the counter hit zero, summoned employees to its containment unit to bless them. Oh man, it's another one of these. Oh, it's like a, it's like a mixture between um, the Sakura tree and, uh, and her. Oh, man. Is this gonna be another restart? Because, oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> Well, I suppose we better get back in there. Wow, Dietrich did not do nearly as well this time. I don't know why, but, all right, let's see. Okay. When five buds had sprouted, it turned dark, and its blessed employees panicked. After some time passed, stems ripped through them and turned them into saplings, which strikingly resemble the abnormality. Secretes a contagious and highly fatal toxin. They need to be removed. Uh, uh, it literally is another melting love. What is wrong with the backer abnormalities? Why do they have, like... <laughs> The worst ones. Uh, at least it doesn't spread. Oh. Well, uh, that's fine. It, it was just a random train. Oh boy. Okay, well. I'm sure that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Look, I mean, she enjoys it. Look at that face. Aye, it's glowing! It's doing a thing. Well, it's a vibe. World tree. Um, does that help us at all? Well, it's quip. Actually, no, it does help. It's quip. No, it doesn't. It doesn't help. Be gone. Okay. Um, we'll just uh. Yeah, we'll just ignore that. Um, insight, and then you go interact with that. Okay, so are random things on the facility poisoned, or is it just like a down there thing? Oh, Punishing Bird's out again. You know, when I first saw Punishing Bird, I thought Punishing Bird was going to be a lot harder to deal with but honestly he's kind of just fine he's he just sort of hangs out like yeah he'll do one damage to you which you know i guess that hurts but all in all you know what he's a good boy 
I do profit. I'm just sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got a train, we got a tree, we got a dude, they're all over the place. We got trains and trees here. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, it's just trains and trees it is. Well, let's find out then. Alright, so. Okay, so. Um, now I've been so worried about this tree that I forgot about the train. <laughs> so that's just, oh, that's fantastic. Before I forget, let's deal with the train. And now let's see what we can do around here, huh? Death. Okay, well we took out most of them. Alright, Clouded Monk. You two. You two. You guys got it. That should be enough. Now, Snow White's Apple. Gonna be nasty. Uh, so let's send the training team. Okay, you guys got this. Now, where's King of Greed? There she is. You three. Get her. Him. It. Get her! Let's slow down. Okay. They're not going to kill before it gets away, but how are you guys doing? Oh my god! Okay, so that was like one of the worst case scenarios um, in one of in terms of who can get out and we actually almost did it deathless. So that actually makes me feel really good about our chances. However, uh, we do need to restart because uh, I refuse to let anyone die. Okay, so I think I've discovered a little something something. If both of your employees have uh, the tree's blessing. Apparently it's called Parasite Tree, not World Tree. Oh, it only has a counter of one? What? Okay. Oh. That's good to know. So, apparently, if everyone in the department already has the blessing, and it melts down, and it's like, ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come get my blessing, then literally nothing happens. It's just kind of sitting there. But I'm guessing the instant anybody steps into this department, they're immediately going to hut to gravitate towards Parasite Tree. So, I don't actually think it's as bad as I thought. Like, it could still be bad. We can't work on it at all, which is a little annoying, but... I don't think it's nearly as bad as I was originally thinking it was. So I think we can work with him. Or wait, no. He's trying to get someone from way over... What department are you in? Bina's department. Oh, okay. So, no, it literally is Sakura Tree. Just a Vav version of it. Okay. Well, actually, in that case... Yeah, no, it literally is Sakura Tree. Okay. So if you just click on the person who's going over, you're fine. Oh... Okay. Well, maybe it's not... It's really not that bad, then. This is super manageable. Hey, it's Blue Star again. Haha. -ha. I We could take Judgment Bird so that we have two out of three of the birds. <sighs> Do we want two out of three of the birds? I mean, this is our chance. He's not too hard to deal with. But then we still have to RNG the last bird. Ah, I, I think it's too late for the birds. We'll do it on the next. <laughs> uh. You're taking the giggle, mate. I. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. <sighs> By the way, the reason I took him. Yay, we have two smile suits. Okay, we don't need him anymore. <laughs> That's legit the only reason I took him, just so I could get the suit again. So... Can't afford any of their stuff yet, but... Also, is this elf ears? There you go, bud. Look at that, looking snazzy. Looking downright good. We are so strong. 
We have, like, genuinely so many just, like, LF suits. And Vav suits. But it's mainly the LF suits that I'm super psyched about. Huh. Now the question is, even with all of this, are we still too weak to, uh, to do the white? Even with all of this, I'm still worried we're too weak. Oh, that red dawn event can be such a nuisance. Ah. <sighs> okay, so Mountain got out. We dealt with them instantly. Army and Black got out. We dealt with that decently. King of Greed got out. Snow White got... Basically, anyone that could have gotten out got out. And we're dealing with it, but of course... Hey, look what I forgot about. The freaking stupid King of Greed killed both Mal and Ayan. Clouded Monk is out. This is... <sighs> look, at, we were doing so good on energy, too. 724 and one Quiplop 3. Oh, Gregory Dallas died to the freaking perfect food of all things. And apparently, Night of is the Night of Despair escaped. I'm probably because Gregory died, um, and he had her blessing thing. Oh, good man! Why am I having so much trouble all of a sudden? This is like, oh, I am just, to I am struggling bad. Okay, and then uh, execute this. Even though we could click, it's too qu it's too close by. I don't want to chance it. Um, let's have you deal with the train. And then I also want Callie. Okay. Mountain of- Oh. He's uncontrollable. Yeah, look how fast he is. Army of Black is out. Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? This is so stupid. Ugh. Be gone. I don't know why I'm struggling so much all of a sudden. It went from like, yeah, we're doing pretty good, to, uh, yeah, I just suck. <gasps> she does pale damage? Okay. Time to bust out the pale shields, boys. The rarest shield. Oh my, she does so much pale damage. Holy crap! Ugh. Woo! Okay, well this is gonna be, hey, another restart, but uh... Okay, well that's the first time she's escaped and she does like 56 pale damage a hit, so she's, pre she's pretty dangerous. Yeah, Clouded Monk has gotten out. Ooh. Let's uh, try day 43 for the third day, for, for the third attempt, third time's a charm. <laughs> Why? Okay, Kura's full health, has a red shield, he still just goes through 155 health and the red shield. I don't understand how freaking Clouded Monk works apparently, and by the way, once again, Army of Black got out. The stupid freaking mountain got out. The only one who hasn't gotten out is Magical Girl. What a shock! <sighs> freaking, I don't... <sighs> Kura just gets one shot through stupid Clouded Monk because, hey, I guess he just has the power to one shot people, because why not? Oh, and I really, I don't want anybody to die because it's such a waste of gifts. But at the same time, it's also such a waste of stats and it's a waste of time and it's annoying. So we had a red dawn event, the blue noon event, and then 
we had um, all them escape. Oh yeah, and stupid Snow White got out. You can't really see it, but she got out right here. I don't... But... <laughs> What's that sound? Okay, hang on. Da -da -da, lowered, lowered. Uh-huh. Doesn't say anything about... Oh, by the way, he can one-shot people because... Why not? <laughs> you know, he just feels like one-shotting people. So hey, I'm getting frustrated. This is actually making me mad. I don't understand why this is happening. Also, Dietra got some really cute elf ears. There's a train outside. This is the fifth attempt at this day. So even though Kura died, and he's basically max stats, it's just end the day. So stupid stuff we've seen and more stuff we've seen okay oh that's so annoying but I mean at least Dietra gets some really cute elf ears hypocrisy <laughs> yeah I'm a hypocrite because I traded all kinds of stupid dumb da uh. The game's telling me that I'm the hypocrite. <laughs> Ugh. We're almost there. We need to do this day, and then we can get to Hakma. Finally. Jeez. Also, our gift luck this run, like, just is so bad. I don't know what it is with this particular run, but just... Man, the gifts that I'm actually after have just not been showing up. Like, yeah, we've managed, we managed to get a lot of gifts that we want, but I mean, it only took 44 days. <sighs> I'm just mad. I'm, I'm angry. I'm a little bit on edge, you could say. I ordered DoorDash, and the guy showed up like a full hour late, and food was cold, and I didn't even get my drink, and I'm just, I'm, it's left me a little upset, okay? Day 44 went, uh, <clears throat> significantly smoother. Nice. Uh, are we even gonna get anyone new? I don't think we are. Interestingly, we still can't do his suppression despite today being the day. So we have to wait until <clears throat> tomorrow? Or does he just not have a suppression? Okay, I'm not, I'm not fully sure what the deal is with him. Uh, so I guess it'll be day 46 where we can do that. <gasps> Sally got the ears! <gasps> Look at her with the elf ears, oh my goodness. <laughs> Even though they're not very good, they're 3 health, 3 SP, which is, considering it's like a... What is the chance for them? 6% chance compared to Ice Queen, who is a guaranteed plus 6, plus 6. Yeah, you know, but it adds up. Every little bit counts. However, there is something I was kind of... By the way, she looks... <laughs> she looks like she just walked out of a forest. She's got horns. She's got ears. <laughs> she legit just walked straight out of a forest. But, um... Something I was kind of thinking... And I would absolutely want your guys' feedback before I did anything even remotely close to it, is at this point, it's pretty obvious we're going to go for a third run. But what I'm kind of thinking is because a lot of you guys want very specific uh, gifts for your characters, for example, Callie wants Scorch Girl's um, match, Roberto wants uh, Mountain's mask, Cozy wants the blindfold from uh, Blue Star. Grapes wants Letitia's hat. You know, stuff like that. I'm kind of wondering if, for the third run, if you guys are okay with it, if we can just spawn in that one trinket, or gift, trinket, that one gift that you guys really want for your character, and basically every character is allowed that one thing that we've already seen 
only gifts that we've already gotten are allowed, but basically every character gets their one specific gift. Like Robert would get the mask, Callie would get the match, I don't know what the heck Sally would get. Uh, Grapes would get Latitia's hat, stuff like that. It would be a little bit strong, but I, I bring it up now because it is going to be our third run. And I know you guys do want cosmetic gifts. Gifts. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see what you guys think. If I were to just spawn in one gift per character, would you guys be okay with that? Obviously, I first would have to figure out how. I have no idea how, but I mean I'm sure we could figure it out. Because I do want you guys to have that one special thing about your character. Like yeah. Everyone has, like, all the armor and weapons that they want, but I know for a fact you guys are after, like, specific gifts as well. So, let me know what you guys think of that idea. I would limit it to one gift that we've already gotten at some point per character. Like, for example, we wouldn't get, um, a White Knight's gift, which we legit never got. Just because mainly we didn't have him long enough, but it's like that wing... And it was the 1% chance, so it's a 2%. Ooh! But since we never got that, we can't spawn that, for example. Um, and the Plague Doctor, we also wouldn't be able to spawn. So let me know what you guys think of that idea. If you don't like it, that's perfectly fine. I'm just throwing it out to see what you guys would think. Um, so if you like it, I'll try and figure it out. And if you don't like it, well, we will simply continue as normal. <laughs> No one's dead? Haha, <laughs> now that's my kind of day. Many hands float in the bath. They're the hands of people I once loved. I mean, here's another bird. Do we just do it? Do we take a bird? Is he that hard to, to work with? He's really not. Alright. Second bird, baby! If by any chance you think you're not ready yet, this is the time to reset. If you made it here after multiple attempts, you will surely come here again, no matter how long it takes. We literally have all the time in the world. There is no need to hurry. Just keep in mind that the situation will be much different if you move forward from here. You'll be given harsh trials and faded, saturated questions we could not answer. I'm sure you already know this. You can reverse time, but you cannot reverse a tale. Have we seen this? I don't think we've seen this. Elijah is Malgus. I'll do my best! I'd advise you to not be so languid. Um, is it okay if I do this? Hey, don't worry too much about it. You won't find a professional like me often. My greetings, A. Eh? The moments I have just made you witness are no longer merely scenes of the past. They could be the present, or even from the future. There are people who once loved you, and there are employees who think that they are happy here. There is also Angela, a cold imitation of Carmen. Ooh, what I tell you, I knew it! It was the same color thing that really tipped me off, but oh, I knew it! Is this not the heaven that has bur burrowing heaven, perchance? Is this not a heaven that has burrowed into your mind? The place you have been yearning for. In this place, you are no less mighty than God. Even death finds no meaning here. So I plead with you. Will you not be satisfied already? We are so desperately continuing to exist, even if it means living like we are now. What right do you have to turn everything to ash? Furthermore, is it clear this story has no... No. 
It is clear that this story has no need for an end. Think about it. All the work that you have done, is it truly a consequence of your own choices? You never were ready. You were not prepared to accept her death, so you created a being wholly shrouded in a sense of loss. And now you are just struggling to move forward, blindly fumbling along the obscure trials of your past deeds. Throughout this entire process, you were never sincerely willing to do what you did. So please, I beg of you to go back. Now. I will not turn back. Look at you. You are proving me right. You are not at all honest with yourself, even in the gravest of choices you must make. Even if I were to send you away, you will likely return after having yet another fresh start. It is an uncontrollable law of this place we must follow. This whole facility has become one giant, ever-running clockwork. The clock never stops ticking. It never rests. It never rushes. It is not set to follow any specific person. It simply walks forever, maintaining the same pace as it always has. And now, it is time for you to leave. I won't leave. You are a lost traveler without a compass or a map. It is natural to feel fear when one is subject to the whims of the air and sea. However, there is no need for you to fear the counting of the clock anymore. I shall always welcome you. I will always console you. You never were ready. I stand my ground. You have not changed your decision in the end. It had seemed that tomorrow would have come as it always does, but it has not. The hour of silent waiting has long since ended. When I no longer feared the impending night, I chose to love this place. But if you still wish to break this egg at all costs, I shall become its sentinel, and I will reap you. How can this still be considered following her will? This, this is nothing but a seed of calamity, drenched in sin. Oh, by the wings, your mind has been soaked with grief, even more severely than I thought. Please, just... Why can't you stop now? You and I, we tried our best. With your career and wealth, you'll be able to live the rest of your life in the nest with no problem whatsoever. So please, I urge you, stop here. Stop before you cross the line. No. No one remained by my side. With everyone's sacrifice, I came this far and reached the ranks of the wings, but there was nobody left to celebrate the moment with. The silence was the signal to start my task for everyone. We lost something in us every single day. We used inhumane methods to extract information from the woman we captured from the head. We passed out plans to AIs that hadn't even been named yet. It ached. No. It wounded the heart of the man who had always been with me. The sound of the waves were so far away, and there was no time left to stay. I lost the last man who stood by me. It was a tragedy, but I didn't hide it. The ones who had left early on likely didn't need me anymore, but I needed them in those final moments. To bring back those who had forsaken the embrace of the earth, to hide and lock away the seed of secrets. I was the only one who remained. I wanted to be forgotten like a mirage. Oh, we can't even do him! Oh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Alright, we can't even do Hakma. A 
That's a little weird. Er, that's a little weird. Um, well. Here we are again. Can we... No. Memory repository day. We're in for it. That, that feels weird to me. Were we supposed to be able to do Hakma? Well, we're not able to now. Um... Okay, well, <clears throat> I suppose we'll just see how far we can get <sighs> with the Midnight of White. I'm not looking forward to this. Based on the first attempt, it wasn't too bad, but the one we have to worry about is that angel. She was freaking nasty. She reflected damage at us and became immune to damage. Like, that's pretty... That... Mm. That's pretty disgusting. So we're not able to do Hakma until we've rewound again. Yikes. Okay. Also. Uh, one, two, three, four. Is there four events? Or no, that makes sense. Because white, red, black, pale, right? That's going to do it for this episode of the Lobotomy Corporation. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. And in the next one, we got a lot of, uh, a lot of hard days coming. <laughs> a lot of hard days up ahead. I'm still really confused why we couldn't do Hakma, but I guess it's just one of those things. I don't know. Maybe, well, had I unlocked him the first time, I think it would have been okay, but, oh well. So, let me know what you think about the cosmetic idea. I do think it's a good idea, but like I mentioned, I do want your guys' opinion on that. Because, I think limiting it to gifts we've already seen, and only one per character, is a really good idea. At least in my mind. That way, it doesn't get too terribly overpowered. Like, you could say, oh, it's, you know, one gift, that's a big deal. I mean, I make a big deal about the, um, uh, Snow Queen's gift, but, I don't know. I, that's why I'm asking for your guys' opinion, because I'm a little torn on it. Like, yeah, it'll be cosmetics for your guys' characters, which I think will make that, make them better, so to speak. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think of that idea. I, I, I could go either way on it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.